Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bahashim El Shai Barakatham, to the house of David, you hopefully elect out there. And um, this is just real quick, man. Um, you know, um, being in the hospital for about five days or so, um, <coughs> Um, <clears throat> dealing with a certain ailment, I had to take care of. Um, you know, I'm still taking care of, still dealing with it, but for the most part, you know, um, I'm all right. I want to say the water to the brothers. You know, you you should know who you are. You know, the brothers that sent up prayers for me, the brothers that prayed for me. Um, I believe those prayers did work. You know, um, I ain't feeling much better. So the water, you know, the water. You how about you? shy first and foremost. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, man, a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and get that. Because, you know, lately, man, um, as things have been turning up in the spirit, um, you know, brothers dealing with certain afflictions or whatnot, man, you know, it just seems like it's getting harder and harder. You know, the afflictions are getting more and more, uh, I'll say dramatic, so to say, you know. Um, <clears throat> but on, you know, on the... the I'll say, like, on the bright side of things, um, um, I, because I look at it as a, as a, a leveling, leveling up, so to say, in the spirit, because, like I said, as things are turning up, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he's turning up both the right and the left hand, you know, but more specifically the right hand, you know, because being that, um, um, you know, we're coming to the times where brothers are going to get that spiritual power, and you know, brothers are going to get that glory, uh, that 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 glory, you know, that that fame, and whatnot, you know. But with that, um, like I said, man, you know, hey, this double, he's coming harder with the attacks, you know, because like I said, man, the the, the afflictions dealing with the physical infirmities, man, is is it just seems like it's getting. Uh, harder and harder, man. You know, with these infirmities, man. These these physical ailments and whatnot, man. You know, but hey, you know, it's a, it's a part of the battle. You know, comes with the territory. You know, we just gotta ultimately put our faith in Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. Then that he's gonna pull through. You know, um, because uh, I'm gonna just say this, man. You know, I do believe myself to be one of those men. You know, um, because, like I said, with these physical infirmities, man, and if you know me, you know, I don't, I don't do hospitals, man. I, I stay away from the hospitals and doctors and things, things of that nature. I try to go about things naturally, you know, but hey, if you, if you, you know, if it's to the point where you, you got to go in, man, then, you know, you got to go in, you know, and like I said, ultimately you got to put your trust in your how about you, man, shy above all things, <clears throat> You know, but um, like I was saying, man, I, I, I just out of faith, you know, uh, as I as I often say, confidence and not a not of cockiness, but of confidence. You know, I do believe to be myself. I, I do believe myself to be one of those men, and um, I do believe Yahweh Bashim El Shai has me out here for a purpose. Whatever purpose that may be, whatever my lot may be, I do believe that the Lord has me set up for a reason. So, you know, um, you know, I, I I don't think, you know, because um, I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, this, some of these affirmities, man, sometimes it's easy to think that, you know, this this could be it, man. You know, sometimes it's just, it's, it's hard. And like I said, it's easy to think that, this could be the one to take me out, you know, but like I was saying, you know, just being in the hospital, man, and just meditating, like I said, that's why I haven't been uploading any videos or anything, you know, um, I was kind of already in a pre-victory mindset, <clears throat> you know, I had already told brothers, you know, I had told the brothers, man, that, you know, I already believe that, you know, um, I'm, I'm gonna get through this, it's just a matter of, you know, actually going through it and, you know, just, just, it has to play out, you know, 
But I already had the mindset that, you know, I'm going to get through this. You know, like I said, I do believe the Lord has me set up to fulfill a purpose, you know. Um, and um, like I said, man, I'm out. Um, I'm feeling much better. I'm doing much better. So, Lord's will, um, the Spirit hasn't left me, man. Because, like I said, man, it, it can be a humbling a humbling experience, you know. Um, a humbling experience, like I said, you know. <coughs> <clears throat> not doing videos and going out there in the highways and byways, not really watching videos and you know partaking in the work and whatnot, man. Um, it can it can it can bring you back, you know. It, it can bring it down to your knees, you know. And that can be scary because, like I said, you know, you might get the feeling that, damn. Uh, hopefully, the spirit is, is still dealing with me, you know. So, like I said, man. Um, a humbling experience. Um. And, you know, just Lord's will, upper right desire. The Spirit is on me to continue to, you know, do what I got to do to make my calling and election a sure one. Um, but, you know, this is something that I always tell people, man, you know, so I definitely definitely got to apply it to myself because in all things, uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, he's in control. <laughs> all right. Um, and that's why. I'm going to read this here first in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. <clears throat> I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. So like I said, at the end of the day, Yahweh Shemel Shai, he's the one that's in control. Yeah, you know, he may use Satan to, you know, he may send, he may send, he may send Satan to sick us and whatnot, you know. Send Satan after us, or whatever the case may be, but ultimately, Yahweh Shem El Shai is the one that's in control of all things, all right? <laughs> he wounds and he heals, is the point, all right? So, when it's all said and done, eh, um, when it comes to physical infirmities, man, whatever sickness, whatever disease, you know, whatever physical in, uh, infirmity you may be deal with, um, just know that Yahweh Shem El Shai, he's the one that, you know, he, he's the one that's putting it on you. All right, and ultimately, he's the one that can take it off of you. He's the one that can take it away from you. You know, he's the one that can make you sound, make you whole. You know, so um, again, ultimately, you want to pray to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. You know, that if it's his will, that he makes you, you know, he makes you sound again. You know, as in that for man, it talks about. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. <sighs> <coughs> I believe that it's Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach. And just bear with me as I look for this. Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach. Um, Um, chapter 30, I'll read verse, I'll start at verse 15, Ecclesiastes chapter 30, verse 15, it says, <clears throat> health and good estate of the body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. So you see, um, Having a good body, man, that's more important than any amount of money in the world, you know. Uh, I'm sure you can ask someone like a Stephen Hawkins, which I, I believe he's deceased now. I, I believe he's in the spiritual realm, but if he were alive, I, you know, I, I bet you, you could ask him and he'll, he'd tell you, man, you know, if, if you don't know who Stephen Hawkins is, then you should look him up. All that money he had, I, I can almost guarantee that he would have traded all that money in for, for uh, a sound body, man. Uh, he would trade it all that in for good health, you know, because <clears throat> you got people, man, you know, because even the scriptures talk about how, man, it's just, it's better to, to, it's better to just die than, you know, to have a continual sickness, you know, um, I don't know if that's in the same chapter, but I'm gonna read on. It says, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better than a continual, excuse me, death is better 
than a bitter life or continual sickness. So yeah, like I said, I'm um, read it again. It says death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. So like I said, man, and rather than just having a continual sickness, man, this is, it's better to just it's, it's better to just die, man. It's just it's better to just be in the spiritual realm rather than just just being this this so-called life and having a having you know some you know the, uh, a continual sickness, you know. Because again, having a sound body, man, and this is why, you know, we ought to uh, really cherish our health and take care of our bodies, man. Because the scriptures also talk about how um, being that our bodies are the temple of the Lord, right? You know, you got to cherish, you got to cherish this temple, man. You got to cherish your temple, your body. Because if you don't, then they, the scriptures tell you that the Lord will destroy you, you know? So we got to take care of ourselves to the best of our abilities in this captivity, in this hellhole that we are in. You know, but nevertheless, when these ailments do fall upon us, um, again, understanding that Yahweh Bashmel Shai, he's the one that's, that's, you know, bringing the plague upon us. And I'm going to read this again in Deuteronomy 32 and 20, uh, 39. <clears throat> See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, um, like I said, man, you know, because, you know, the first first sign of trouble, our people, they're so quick to run to the so-called white man. You know, they're so quick to run to the doctors, right? <clears throat> Which when you go into what a doctor is, what that word means, it means to falsify, you know, because they, they're in the business of um, basically... Well, let me not take it there before they take this video down, but it's a business at the end of the day, man. You know, if you know, you know, <laughs> you know, but even with that being said, because like I said, I don't do hospitals. If you know me, you know, I hate the hospitals. I stay away from the hospitals. I stay away from the doctors <coughs> um, unless unless I really have to go in like this situation that I'm in. You know, I, I really had to, you know, go in and whatnot. <laughs> But even with that being said, you know, um, I sent prayers up, you know, hoping that Yahweh Shemal Shai put it on the spirit of these the, the, these people, man, to, you know, really, you know, um, take care of me and, you know, um, do what they got to do, you know, and, and just, just you know, Lord's will that, you know, these people, man, they, 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 don't, they don't play no games with me, man, you know, just let, they, let these people do, these nurses or whatnot, let them do what they got to do, man, you know. <laughs> Um, and, and send me uh, send me about my way, you know, um, cause, you know, I, I felt that, you know, um, you know, that, uh, you know, the Lord hurt me, you know, um, people, they, they actually, uh, took care of me or whatnot. And, you know, like I said, I was in there for about five days, you know, and, um, like I said, man, you know, uh, I was in and I was out, you know. <laughs> Especially with this whole, you know, C19 thing, man. You know, um, you got to be careful, man. You definitely got to be careful, man. You know, um, Lord's will, I get around right to doing it. Because um, another thing, man, you know, you got to get into the herbs, man. You know, the herbs are, are important, you know. Um, like I said, all things, first and foremost, you know, you're pretty, how about you, shy, right? But, you know, um, there's work that is required with our faith, so... It's not like you could just pray to you, how about your mouth shy and just sit on your ass and not do anything about it. No, you got to actually put forth the work and show forth your work. And in this case, in some cases, hey, you got to take the herbs, right? You know, so I've been dealing with the herbs and whatnot. That's been helping out, you know. Um, you see, man, but hey, um, like I said, um, our people, man, they're so quick to every little thing, every little sign of trouble. You know, they're so every little headache, you know. Jake is so quick to run to these hospitals, man. You know, these these morgue houses, man. You know, but it said here, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, you know, um, they can only do but so much. You know, ultimately, like I said, Yahweh Shemel Shah, he's the one that's going to, you know, um, determine whether he's going to deliver you or not. You know, and <clears throat> and like I said, you know, fortunately, fortunately, in my case, the Lord put it on the spirit. The, the spirit of these people, they, they took care of me and did what they had to do, you know, and I was in and out of there, you know. So, the water you have about Shima was shy. Um, 
Let me get this. Because, hey, as, it, as I just read, the Lord is the one that wounds and he heals, man. You know? And with all these ailments that I've been getting, man, I just, you know, been constantly telling myself, because that's another thing. Um, you know, someone like me, man, um, I, I rarely get sick, you know? I rarely get sick, but as of lately, um, like I said, you know, the spirit has been turning up, you know, and Satan has been coming harder with his attacks. So lately I've been getting more, I'm finding myself getting more and more sick, you know, and I just lately, I just been reminding myself that, you know, the Lord is the one that wounds. He's the one that heals, you know, the power that wounds and heals, you know, so like I said, man, it, it just makes sense. You know, Yahweh Shem El Shai, he's the one that's in control of it all at the end of the day. <coughs> <coughs> But I'm going to read this in Jeremiah 17 and 14. It says, heal me, O Yahweh, and I shall be healed. And that's another thing, because like I said, man, I already had the pre-victory mindset, you know. Um, because, you know, we may go through certain infirmities in our flesh. It may seem like, man, it's, I, I don't know about this one. You know, is, is this the one, this one may be the one to take me out, you know. <laughs> but it's nothing for the Lord, man, you know, to heal. <clears throat> Like I said, having that uh, pre-victory mindset. Like I said, I have I've already had as bad as it was my situation. I already had the the, the mindset that you know I've, I've been healed from this. You know the Lord's going to heal me. I just got to wait it out. I just got to deal with it. You know because that's an, another thing when it comes to whatever <sighs> physical ailment we we may receive. Um, knowing and understand that we could be possibly being judged from you know whatever sins that we committed in our past lives. You know, uh, whatever the case may be, you know, um, just uh, pretty much got to suck it up, man. Got to deal with it, man. You know, like I said, man, I just I already had the mindset that the Lord's gonna, I already had the mindset that I've been healed. It's just a matter of, you know, waiting it out, uh, letting this play out, you know, I'm um, not looking for any easy tickets, man, because that's that's another thing with Jake. Jake wants the easy route, you know. But a lot of, you know, a lot of times we just got to sit back and wait it out, man. We, we got to suck it up, man. You know, no easy tickets, man. You know, you just suck it up and deal with it. But it says, heal, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. So you see, and ultimately, when the Lord does come through for you, hey, give him his praise, man. Give, give him his credit. You know, because, hey, Jake, man, is so quick to, you know, when they're in a, a situation to where, you know, they're crying out to the Lord, right? They're going through whatever infirmities, whatever situation, you know, whether it be money, whatever situation, right? You know, they're in a the jam. Jake, they'll cry out to the Most High, right? And the Most High, hey, for the most part, he'll deliver them, you know? And Jake, they they, they be quick to forget, you know? They'd be quick to, to, to give the Lord his credit, to give him his praise. You see, and that's, that's another bad habit with our people, man. You know, whatever is, you know, whenever the Lord deliver us, delivers us, man, hey, you know, give him, give the Lord his credit, man. Give, give the Lord his praise, you know, because, hey, we may be put in that situation just to see what we're going to do, you know, and, and, and to, because that's one thing, no one understand that we are being watched, man. We, we are being watched around the clock. You know, so don't ever forget, don't ever forget to give the Lord His credit. Don't ever forget to give the Lord His praise, man. You see, because you might not be so fortunate the next time. You see. But what I also want to get is this in Second Kings chapter twenty. <clears throat> Just to show you the power that we deal with, the power that fights for us, the power that's on our side, right? And the power of humility. On another note, all right. Um, 2 Kings chapter 20, starting at verse 1, it says, In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Thus saith the Lord, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. All right. It says, then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I walked with thee, how I walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and I've done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. 
And it came to pass, before Isaiah was gone out in the middle court, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, thus saith the Lord, the God of the God of David, thy power, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. So you see the power of, you know, humility, man. You know, hey, when Hezekiah was told that he was going to be, that he was going to die, right, from this sickness. All right. Hey, you know, he broke down, man. And, you know, he displayed humility. Humility goes a long way with the Heavenly Father, you know. Like I said, man, with these infirmities, man, you know, I just be praying to the Lord, you know, like, you know. Um, like I said, I, I constantly remind myself when I'm going through these things, man, that the Lord, he's the one that wounds. I remind I remind the Lord, you see, you know, it, you know, you, you all the times you talk to the Lord, you know, you let him know, like, you know, Lord, you said this and, you know, you, you said that, you you know, you're the power that. Of this, you're, you're the power that to, to, to bring the life. You're the power to, to, to make poor, that makes rich. You know, you're the power that wounds and, and heals and, and no one else, you know. The Lord, the Lord likes that type of talk, man, you know. He, he likes when, you know, you, you boast about him like that, man. He, he likes that. Because if anything, the only one that has the bragging rights to be proud is the Lord. You know, is Yahweh Bashim El Shai, rightfully so. You know, because, hey. The blink of an eye, man, it, just the thought of it. We all could be done. You know, we got all, all this could be done, man. All of our lives could be done away with. The earth, everything could be done away with. So the only one that has the bragging rights to be proud and to be boastful is Yahweh Bashim Shai, rightfully so. So when you boast him up like that, hey, he likes that, you know. Um. So nevertheless, you know, like I said, humility, man, it goes a long way because there's nothing... <coughs> <clears throat> nothing that you know we can do in our power who are we that's why the scriptures refer to us as worms man we're hopeless we're defenseless powerless well, who are we what can we do absolutely nothing you see so give credit where it's due man all right and it's nothing for the lord to come through for thee you know show humility display humility and let the lord know that lord you're, you're the one that wounds and you're the one that can heal me lord so i pray to I, you know i, I pray lord how about Shema Washah, if your will, heal me, you know? Because that's, you know, the main thing that was going on, on the, the main thing that was going on in the back of my mind, man, I was like, you know, like, damn, I, I can't upload videos, you know? Um, You know, I missed a week of going out there on the highways and byways, you know, Lord's will, I go out twice the next week, you know, double up the next week, you know, but, you know, that feeling, it sucks, man. And like I said, it could be scary because it's like, man, Lord's will, the spirit hasn't left me. You know, the Lord's will, the spirit is still dealing with me, you know. Um, But, um, yeah, man, you, uh, you know, humility, man, it goes a long way. It goes a long way with the Heavenly Father and with people. It goes a long way with man, you know, just, just people in general. Humility could take you a long way. Well, how much more with the Heavenly Father, you see? <laughs> So because of, you know, King Hezekiah, he displayed um, humility, all right? Um, verse 6, it says, and I'll, yeah, verse 6, it says, And I will add unto thy days 15 years, and will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for mine sake, mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. So you see, um, hey, not only did... Um, King Hezekiah get healed, but he, the Lord added another 15, of uh, another 15 years to his life. You see, you see, it's nothing for the Lord to do that, man. But you know, you gotta believe it. You know, you gotta, you gotta trust in, you gotta trust in the Lord, man. You know, and that's with any infirmity, man, you know, cause no matter what the doctors tell you, all right, you know, Jake bug out. Oh, the doctor said I got six months to live, and Jake, they'll actually believe it, you know? Not knowing and understanding that the power that we serve, the power that fights for us, man, hey, it's nothing for the Lord to heal you of that infirmity, right? And add on to your life, you know? Add more year, years into your life. It's nothing for the Lord to do that, man. But Jake puts, they put limits on the Lord, and the Lord is not one to be contained, man. He's not one to be put in, in a box. You can't put limitations on the Lord, <clears throat> you see? It's nothing for the Lord to 
perform these type of acts, these type of works. <laughs> you see Jake bugging out, man. Oh, man, they said they gave me six months to a year, man, you know. And Jake thinks that's the end all be all, you know. Um, when you read verse 7, it says, And Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs, and they took it and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. So you see, hey, like I said, getting into the herbs, right? You see, man, because again, faith, hey, it requires works. You know, it's one thing to say that you believe, but what are you doing to show that you believe, you know? Because that's another thing, you know, um, like I said before, um, um, well, because like I said, you know, they, they might give you a, a, a death sentence all, oh, you know, you, you got six months to live, right? You know, you, you know, I, I, I speak to people often. They talk about how, you know, the doctors say they gave them this, this, you know, diagnosis. It's irreversible. There's no cure for it. Listen. Yahweh Bashmel Shai has something out there for each and every single ailment out there, known and not known to man. The Lord has something out there. All right. Now, of course, because you know this this place called America, this this Babylon the Great, you know it, it bans a lot of those contents, right? A lot of things that's actually good for us. But nevertheless, man, there's something out there for each and every ailment, known and not known to man. The Lord has something out there for it. You know, <laughs> you see, but. You got to have faith, man. You know, you got to do your part. Pretty how about Shemel Shai? Do your part. Take the herbs. Do what you got to do, man. You know, and again, it's nothing for the Lord to, to, to come through. It's nothing for the Lord. That's light work, man. That's easy work for you. How about Shemel Shai? You know, it may seem tough and difficult for us, but that's easy work for the Lord, man. You know, and like I said, man, you just, you know, a lot of times, hey, the Lord will put us in this position just to, you know, he just show us that, hey, man, you know, he's got us. <coughs> you know, he'll put us in this position to see what we'll do. <coughs> you know. So, you know, some things to take into consideration, man. You know. Um, But, yeah, man, that, that was all, man. Hope, hoping and, and praying that this is edifying to to the body, you know. Hope and pray that you were edified. <laughs> and giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashem El Shai Brakatham. To you, hopefully, lucked out there. Uh, Lord's will, until next time, Shalom.